in health news tonight, a surprising discovery to what could trigger autoimmune diseases like multiple sclerosis. It is yet another reason to watch your salt intake. News 8's medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa is in the newsroom with more on what she found out about this latest study. Jocelyn? Ann and Darren, researchers from Yale, Harvard, Brigham and Women's believe that they have identified a major factor in the dramatic increase in the number of people diagnosed with multiple sclerosis over recent years, and it comes down to dietary salt. A three-part study shows salt is a trigger for autoimmune disorders like multiple sclerosis, which attacks the central nervous system. It was incredibly surprising. Dr. David Hafler, the lead investigator of the Yale component, says it began with discovering that people who ate at fast food restaurants had a higher level of inflammatory cells in their blood. So went back and looked at what's in fast food, fat and salt, and when we added basically a pinch of salt to the culture, it induced an incredible degree of inflammation. The test on mice confirmed what they suspected. We put them on what is a, uh, a Western diet of high salt. We all live in a high salt diet. And the model of multiple sclerosis became much worse. Uh, rather than having a limp tail, they became totally paralyzed. Neurologist Dr. Hafler, a notable MS researcher, now has the evidence a low-salt diet is a good thing. It's not just not adding salt, but really staying away from processed foods, staying away from fast foods, which are very high salt and high fat. MS patient Stephanie Hogney understands the logic behind the findings. Anything you, you put into your body with an immune disorder, an autoimmune disorder, it makes sense that it, it it's going to interact that way. She was diagnosed with MS almost three years ago and is this year's spokesperson for the annual Traveler's really Walk MS. I know in my own life I do have my own dietary triggers. Um, caffeine, alcohol tend to, to, to trigger symptoms for me, so I've cut them out of my diet. Now Stephanie will add salt to that list. MS is not due to bad genes or bad environment. It's a bad interaction between the genes and the environment. We can't change the genes, but we can change the environment. The next step, studying MS patients on a low-salt diet. Now, Dr. Hafler says this could lead to making the disease better or keeping some people from getting it. Now, this study was actually partly funded by the National Multiple Sclerosis Society. Next month is the Traveler's Walk MS, which raises thousands of dollars for research, resource, and services for the 6,000 people living with MS in our state. There are 12 sites, and our own Darren Kramer is once again the Grand Marshal. For more information, log on to our website, WTNH.com. Back to you.